If you are an investor and want to buy some NFTs, or a creator, and want to sell your artwork, you will hear the term NFT minting. In this video, you will know what is NFT minting, and what actually happens when you mint an NFT. But if you don't understand what are NFTs, go watch our detailed video on NFTs, and how they work. It explains them very simply. So, let's get started. Minting an NFT means creating an NFT and storing it on the blockchain. So, what does that mean? Well, let's take an example. Let's say that we will mint an NFT of this image. Minting an NFT of this image means that we will create a token that stores information about this image. You can think of a token here as a text file that stores information. So, what is this information? Well, the token stores a lot of information about this image. But mainly, it stores three important pieces of information. The current owner wallet address, a link to the image file, and a link to a metadata file. This metadata file includes information like the title of the image, the artist, description of the image, and the date it was created. You should know that the image itself is stored on a server somewhere else, not on the blockchain. Only the link to the image is stored on the token. And then the token itself is stored on the blockchain. Storing the token on a blockchain means that it is stored on a lot of computers at the same time, which makes it very hard almost impossible to edit or delete any piece of information without the permission of the owner. You should also know that you can mint an NFT of any digital file, like images, audio files, videos, 3D models, and text files. Any digital file can be uploaded to the internet, then you can create an NFT with a link to this uploaded file. Also, you can mint NFTs on a lot of blockchains like Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, Tezos, and Flow blockchain. But right now, Ethereum is the most popular and widely used blockchain for NFTs. Also, like any transaction on a blockchain, you need to pay transaction fees to mint your NFT. Minting NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain is the most expensive, with gas fees sometimes reaching as high as $100 or $150 to mint a single NFT. Before we move on, if you have been enjoying our video, give us a like. As a new channel, it helps us tremendously, and it pushes the video to new viewers. So how minting is actually done? Well, minting an NFT is done by smart contracts. Smart contracts are basically lines of code that can execute transactions automatically without your intervention. This smart contract creates the tokens and changes the owner information when the NFT is sold. But you don't have to write smart contracts to create an NFT. You can mint your NFTs easily on marketplaces like OpenSea, Wearable, and Mintable. These marketplaces have their own smart contracts, and they will mint the NFT for you. Also, if you don't want to pay the gas fees upfront before selling your NFT, you can list your NFTs for sale for free on Wearable and Mintable. What happens is that you upload your images, and then they are stored and listed on the marketplace. But the token is not created until a buyer comes and buy your NFT. Then, he will pay the gas fee to mint the NFT on the blockchain. This type of minting is called lazy minting. OpenSea, on the other hand, requires you to pay the gas fee for the first mint only. Then, you can list an unlimited number of NFTs for free. But this is also lazy minting, and the tokens will be created on the blockchain when a buyer buys the NFTs. Popular NFT collections most of the time let buyers mint their NFTs from the project's website. So the buyer goes to the project's website, connect his wallet, and clicks on the mint button. Pay the gas fees, then the smart contract will automatically mint a randomly chosen NFT for the buyer. This is called a public mint. And buying NFTs this way is very risky. As sometimes, buyers may go to a fake website that looks exactly like the original one, and when you click mint, you get a fake NFT or nothing at all. So, if you still want to participate in public mints, you have to make sure that you are on the correct website written on the project's official social media profiles. You should also know that gas fees during public mints are very high, and if you try to mint an NFT and pay the gas fee, but the transactions failed because all the NFTs were minted, or because you paid a small gas fee for example. 
you'll lose the gas fee paid and you won't get the NFT. So always do your own research before taking any decisions. At the end of this video, we hope you learned what you need to know about NFTs minting and if you liked our video and want to reward our hard work. Give it a thumbs up, comment if you have any questions and subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss our new videos. We promise they will be very simple and very easy. Thanks for watching.